Hello friends and welcome back to In On It. Today I have a special episode for you. I am going to walk you through all of my Christmas socks. So a while back I was thinking of creating a collection of holiday inspired socks that I wanted to wear throughout December. And I have been working on these for two or three years perhaps, um, but it really kicked off in 2023 when I kind of was super inspired actually in June to start working on the collection so that when December came around I would be able to wear a new pair of socks every other day through December and I didn't really get to 15 pairs of socks but I have 10 and that's a, a reasonable number as well and I am going to build on my collection so when December comes around next year I will be able to wear a new pair of socks almost every day and eventually at one point in time I will have 31 pairs of socks that would be awesome um, I really really enjoy wearing my handmade socks I I wear them almost every day throughout the winter uh, season and my handmade socks are my favorite socks to wear um, above all my woolen socks so it totally makes sense to make uh, season inspired socks um, for sure I will say up front that my socks are mainly knit up on 2.25 millimeter needles using fingering weight sock yarn. There is one exception though and I will come back to that when I get to that pair. So here is my box where I keep my uh, Christmas inspired handmade socks. It's a knitter's box, which is actually um, a, um, a club in Norway where we uh, can have a monthly subscription of um, yarns. This is no ad, <laughs> but I have bought this box once and really enjoyed it. But um, most of all, I kept this box because it was a perfect size and it was really neat to store my handmade socks in. So here they are. It's 10 pairs of handmade socks so far and I really enjoy my little collection there. And yeah, let's, um, let's dive into the first pair. Um, made out of a holiday inspired yarn from Lolo Did It and this is called uh, The Hippo for Christmas I love the, the grey base with the greens and the reds and they were so fun to knit. Um, this yarn base is actually uh, MCN, so there's uh, some uh, cashmere and merino and nylon in it. So they are so soft. And I knit just a plain stockinette. I believe this is a 60 stitch uh, sock with a 2x2 ribbing 
and I do a reinforced heel and I also did a, a standard um, decrease toe with a Kitchener stitch for finishing the toe so yeah I got this yarn as a gift from my friend Meg in the States so thank you so much Meg and now I'm looking so much forward to start wearing these socks socks are made out of a lovely hand dyed yarn from a homespun house. These were an absolute treat to make. I, the yarn is absolutely gorgeous and it is one of the Christmas in Hogwarts colorways and I believe from three years back probably maybe four I don't remember exactly but um, I really love the speckling and the colors on this hand dyed yarn it's absolutely beautiful and this is also made uh, the same way as the Lolo did it a uh, sock uh, with a 2x2 two two ribbing and it's a 60 stitch sock and I have a reinforced heel flap and the same toe with um, Kitchener stitch finishing. pair out is a sock where I used the um, holiday inspired uh, sock yarn from West Yorkshire Spinners and this one has been worn quite a few times so <laughs> they might seem a little bit sloppy but I can assure you that they, uh, the yarn is holding up uh, quite well uh, this yarn is a little bit more sturdy and um, not as soft as the previous two ones but I really really enjoy a good sturdy sock made of a good workhorse yarn. The striping and patterning on the West Yorkshire Spinner socks is uh, just so fun. This colorway I believe is called the fairy lights and I used a uh, plain white for the heel and toe. They are knit uh, with the same number of stitches and in the same way as the previous two except for um, a little patterning. It's a broken rib that I just did on the back side of the leg. So you can barely see it here. And I also did um, an inverted reinforced heel. So it's the same way as the enforced, reinforced heel as I did on the other socks. But um, I think the reinforcement is done on the right side instead of the wrong side of the heel flap on this pair. Which creates another effect which is also very very pretty to look at. Speaking of West Yorkshire spinners, I have another sock, which is this one. This has also been worn. As you can see, it's a little bit wonky. Um, but it's very festive and fun and I really enjoy wearing it. 
This sock is knit with 60 stitches. I have done a 3x2 rib, only a very short rib in a plain red yarn. I think it's the red from West Yorkshire Spinners actually. I have continued the patterning somewhat down the leg with a broken rib pattern and a broken rib on top of the foot. And then I did a fish lips kiss heel, which is also a very enjoyable heel to knit. Although my instep is quite high, so I really prefer a heel flap and gusset. Uh, but um, sometimes I like to switch it up and make a, a different heel. couple of uh, scrappy socks in my Christmas socks collection as well and if you have been here before you know that I love a good scrappy project especially the scrappy socks so I have made quite a few of them and this is a pair that I made out of um, mini sock yarns that I received through a uh, advent calendar swap and so there is uh, 24 different minis in these and I knit them consecutively they are knit cuffed on as all of my socks are by the way so I cast on both socks at the same time and I knit one stripe each day until Christmas Eve. And the heel is of course a little bit larger, but um, I think the swap was at 10 gram minis every day. So uh, I had plenty of yarn for a pair of socks. And I think they're so fun. Really, really love these. pairs of socks that are made out of minis from the opal yarn calendar. The first one is made probably five or six years ago so they look a little bit worn and that is because I've worn these tons and tons but they're still alive and work well as wool socks for me. This pair is made out of four, like 15 gram balls of uh, opal yarn. And I also did a fish lips kiss heel, as you can probably tell. And for these socks, I did a one by one ribbing. The next opal sock yarn socks are uh, fresh off the needle, so they look pretty pristine. And These were casted on um, when I was on the plane to Florence this fall and they flew off the needles. I find it so enjoyable to knit scrappy socks so and these were no exception. 
I had a plan to try and match them up pretty well, but due to the nature of the opal sock yarn, um, they are very highly variegated and color changes are pretty, pretty hectic. Uh, so yeah, they just turned out as they did. But you can definitely see that they belong together and I'm very happy with the outcome. And now I look very much forward to start wearing them. These last three pairs are all pairs that were kind of finished this year. This pair is also made out of leftover yarn and from previous projects. And I pretty much spent every little piece of yarn that I had av available. So I actually needed to put in a little piece of a different yarn here on the very tip of the toe. I think it blends pretty well in together with the rest of the variegated yarn down here, so it's not very easy to tell. I used three different yarns for this pair. The red one is um, Patton's Croy, which is a little bit thicker yarn, so the pair is knit on 2.5 millimeter needles instead of 2.25. So the plain red is from Patas Croy, um, the creamy color with some speckles of browns and reds are from Bergerat de France. And then I have a highly variegated yarn from Regia. This is one of their um, Christmas colors. And I had to do some striping here on the toe to try and finish them off pretty close uh, to one another. And yeah, I think they look like candy cane. They look very Christmassy to me. And it was very fun to just try and switch things up a little bit and make um, a highly variegated heel instead of, you know, the solid colored heel. The last two pairs are um, actually from a Christmas sock collection that Nordic Stitches did a couple or three, four years ago. I was test knitting her uh, socks. I only had to test knit one sock, so um, they have been laying in as UFOs in my stash as single socks for a long time. And I this year I picked up and finished both pairs eventually. <laughs> So this is the first pair, they are called the Jingle Bell Socks and you can probably tell why. Lots of bells here on the top of, uh, of the leg and the foot. Same on the other side. Very pretty and these are made out of um, Berger de France. I don't remember the colorway, but it's, it's the same as I did on the striping here. It's a very pretty color. I really love this yarn. So pretty. And this too is a bit more sturdy of a sock yarn. And I find that the sturdier yarn, the more hard wearing they are. I both enjoy knitting with sturdy yarn and wearing it a lot. The 
last pair I'm going to show you is also from the same collection of holiday socks that I test knitted for a Nordic Stitches. She, uh, the Nordic Stitches design line is no longer existing on Ravelry, but if you follow Lily Skog on Instagram, you can message her if you like one of her old. Uh, one of her pattern that she released under the name Nordic Stitches. This is the other socks. Uh, they are called uh, the Sugar Plum Fairy. There is a beautiful leaf motif going on on the top of the sock. And they also got a very interesting heel decrease underneath uh, the heel instead of on the gusset like here and they fit perfectly on my foot like the heel is just they look a little bit funny but uh, it's uh, it totally makes sense when you put them on your feet the yarn is a woolen vine yarn it is her cashmere base. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but um, the color is Lost Unicorn. And I thought that uh, the color and the yarn was a perfect fit for um, Sugar Plum Fairy. holiday inspired socks I hope that you enjoyed watching all of my holiday socks and I uh, just recently got a new beautiful uh, Christmas sock yarn uh, through a yarn yarny advent swap that I um, have this December I will definitely cast that on and knit a new pair of holiday socks this Christmas. If you know any pretty Christmas sock patterns or Christmas sock yarns that I should try and add to my collection, please let me know in the comments below and feel free to press the like button if you like this video and become a subscriber if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a Merry Christmas, a lovely December, um, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, and happy sock knitting.